Hi again then guys and welcome to yet another money earning tune setup for Gran Turismo Sport. Now of course we've already done two tunes in this same vein, initially for the Porsche 911 in N400, then an even better tune in terms of money earning for the KTM Crossbow, which for pretty obvious reasons is the community's most popular car for earning huge money on Blue Moon Bay. Now, if you're unfamiliar with this way of earning money, I've put a pinned comment down below, it should be the top comment, which if you haven't seen the method of earning money, click through to that. I mean, the video's got a couple of views now, so you probably have seen it, but if you haven't checked that out for the full method, and then you can utilize one of the three tunes, or something completely different, of course. There seems to be a bit of confusion occasionally about what cars to use. People saying stuff like, oh, just use a LaFerrari to win. Well, yeah, if you want to win easily, of course, but not if you want to win the most money, because the way it works is the worse the car you use, the more they give you because it's a more difficult race. So that's the whole point of this tune. Now this is running in N300, just like the Crossbow, but it's a better car. It's faster in a straight line, and I prefer the handling personally. Of course, some people will prefer the Crossbow, that's the nature of the internet. The only disadvantage of this one is the cost of the car. This is a 2.8 million credit car to begin with, so that's a pretty hefty downside for those who don't have the cash. This tune, though, is for those of you guys who have already done this tune a few times, because 2.8 million sounds like a lot, but it really isn't. You can earn that in, like, a day, using that race. And actually, you can earn way more than that if you want to. So, this tune is, once again, for N300, just like the KTM. I'd recommend dropping the weight as much as you can. The power, you want to get up to the peak of N300, which is 344 horsepower. Traction control... I've got turned off, that'll depend on you of course. Racing super softs for the full amount of grip. I know different people like to put different tyres on, especially front to back. That depends on you. If you've got a personal preference, by all means go with it. This is just the tune that I use. Brake balance I haven't touched. As far as suspension, we've got the ride height on 70mm, which is in other words as low as possible. The frequency on 2.5, anti-roll on 7 and 6. For the dampers, we've got the compression on 55, rebound on 85, one degree of camber, just to make the car a bit more stable through those curves. Neutral toe, downforce you can't adjust. As far as the diff, I've gone for the highest initial torque and the lowest on both acceleration and braking. Again, I know different people have different preferences there. Or, if you just want to try something different, by all means, do so. The whole point of my tunes is to encourage personal spins on it. So mess around, try something different. If you find that it doesn't work as well, you can just come back and do this tune again. Or if you find something better, by all means use it. As far as the gearbox, I'd recommend an auto setting of 186. And then, as you can see, I haven't changed the rest, because you just don't need to. You can easily get this car up around 170 without any kind of slipstream, which for N300 is pretty good. Plus through the corners, well, you'll see in a second when I drive the car, but... In the first corner, the tightest on the track, it's not quite as quick through there as the KTM can be, but through the other two, it's about the same. So it's a pretty good car. I personally find it to be a far better handling car. So all that remains, of course, is to take it out on the track to actually show you what it can do. Now, as far as using this car, I know a lot of people find that with the KTM Crossbow, you need to exit the race and restart until you find a race that doesn't have the LaFerrari on the grid, because a lot of people find that car difficult to beat. That's not an issue if you drive the KTM well, basically, but of course that comes with skill and it comes with experience, as with any kind of driving. But if you do master it, and even if you don't get it perfect to be honest, you can still quite easily beat even the LaFerrari and the Veyron in the crossbow because it's so much quicker through the corners. So if you'd rather use that car, for those who maybe don't have enough money for this one, the Crossbow is a far cheaper machine, and it's in the same class, so you earn the same amount of money. Now as you can see towards the end of this video, the payout is really good, it's 375,000 credits. Nothing else, like a LaFerrari or a Ford GT or any of that, is going to be earning anywhere near that. You can lower them, for sure, but the best you're going to be getting is maybe N400, N500 class, something like that. So you're going to be getting about 315 grand, something like that, not 375. And although that may not sound like much of a difference, it really is. 
That means that over the course of three races with this car, or with the crossbow, you're earning well over a million credits. And the race only takes 10 minutes, so in other words, you could quite easily be earning well over 2 million credits an hour using this setup. So, as I said, the Ford GT40 actually isn't that expensive when you think of it that way. You can buy this car in an hour and a half of doing this race. So if you can't afford this one, check out the video for the KTM Crossbow Tune, which is also pinned in the description. Use that one, it's a far cheaper car, and then of course, if you want to try this one out, you could save up the cash, buy this one, use the tune, and then replace it instead of the KTM, which is what I've personally done, because I like this car more. <laughs> so, if you decide to use this one, or the KTM, or even the Porsche, which you can find linked through those other videos as well, then I hope you find it fun, earn a ton of cash from it, and it's still pretty much the best way of earning money in the game in terms of how quickly you can do it, but also getting great benefits like XP, tons of mileage points, and you can level up really, really fast with it as well. But that's it for this tune, of course, there are plenty more to check out on the channel, and for now, as always, thanks for watching.